This is complete demo of fast data collection in tree based wireless sensor network. We investigate the following fundamental question. How fast can information be collected from wireless sensor network organized as tree? To address this, we explore and evaluate number of different techniques using realistic simulation models under many to one communication paradigm known as converge case. We first consider time scheduling on a single frequency channel with the aim of minimizing the number of time slots required to complete a converge case. We combine scheduling with the transmission power control to mitigate effects of interference and show that while power control helps in reducing schedule length under a single frequency, scheduling transmissions using the multiple frequencies is more efficient. We give lower bounds on the schedule length when interference is completely eliminated and propose algorithm that achieves these bounds. We can also perform the various channel assignment methods and find empirically that more moderate size networks of about 100 nodes, the use of multi-frequency scheduling can suffice to eliminate most of the indifference. Then the data collection rate no longer remains limited by indifference but by the topology of routing tree. This is complete flow of fast data collection in tree based wireless sensor network. First input data is deployed as a network and then the network the time slot is assigned to all the edges by based on the breadth search. After that the scheduling is performed by two techniques. JFTS joint frequency time slot algorithm and tree based multi channel protocol. In JFTS time slot assignment, JFTS schedules a network starting from link that has the highest number of packets to be transmitted. When the link loads are equal, such as an aggregated converge case, the most constrained link is considered first. The link for which the number of other links violating the interfering and adjacency constraints when scheduled simultaneously is the maximum. In tree based multi channel protocol is a greedy greedy method this is used to collect up data by using the following technique it partitions the network into multiple subtrees and minimizes the intra tree interference by assigning different channels to the nodes residing on the different branches starting from the top of the bottom tree each these three techniques has some advantage and disadvantages. For uh, avoid these disadvantages, these two techniques are combined and it is called RBCA, Receiver Based Channel Assignment. Here we are going to combine these two techniques and then result is produced. In receiver Based Channel Assignment we statically assign the channel to the receivers so as to remove as many interfering links as possible. In RBCA, the children of common parent transmit on the same channel. Every node in the tree therefore operates on at most two channels, thus avoiding pairwise per packet channel negotiation overheads. So we can get optimized schedule. This is complete demo of fast data collection in wireless sensor network. First we are going to deploy the nodes. This forms the network. This network contains up to three levels. Then the levels are identified. In each level the child and the parents are identified. Then weight of each node in the network is identified. In based on the BFS search, the time slot assigned to the edges in the network. Then 
JFTS scheduling is performed. In JFTS schedules a network starting from a link that has highest number of packets. To be transmitter first, when the link loads are equal, such as in aggregated converse case, the most constant link is constrained first. Link for which number of other links violating the interfering and adjusting constraint when scheduled simultaneously is the maximum. The algorithm starts with empty schedule and first short link according to the loads or constraints. Then tree based multi channel protocol scheduling is performed. In TMCP is a greedy search tree based multi channel protocol for data collection applications. It partitions a network into multiple subtrees and minimizes the intra tree interference by assigning different channels to the nodes residing on different branches starting from top of the tree. RBCA combines the advantage of both algorithms and perform channel allocation where statically assigned the channels to the receiver so as to remove as many interfering links as possible. In RBC, the children of common parent transmit on the same channel every node in the tree therefore operates on at most two channels thus avoiding pairwise per packet channel negotiation overheads.